that shit crack. Yo, too, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. See what breeze everything easy. So, yes, sir, we're back with another video. And today, someone told me to react to this uh, Vanessa Candy. I'm not sure if she's from Ghana, but she does a lot of videos from Ghana. And um, I'm going to react to this video. It's, it's called What 17? What 117? I'm an idiot. What 170,000 gets you in Ghana? You know what I'm saying so we're gonna see because whoever if you spend 170,000 out here you're living in the box you know what I'm saying you're living in the box in New York very expensive so we're gonna see what the value is and what comes with the 170,000 know I'm saying so let's get straight to it if you're new like I'm um, subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell we're on the road to 20k so keep on subscribing and sharing let's get from a crowd almost two hours Prem, to get here and there was a bit of traffic because it was around three o'clock don't know who finishes work at three o'clock but you know apparently that's when rush hour starts we've just turned down the pram pram road So my sat nav failed us on this occasion and we literally ended up driving practically straight onto the beach but at least I got to see it which is something that I did want to do. So here we are at Pram Pram. It's kind of late so it's a little bit dark but um, obviously you've just got the ocean behind me and you can see that people are starting to build their houses on the seafront. So there's one that's complete, looks pretty complete over there. And then there's Ocean Green, which is where we're going to look, which is over there. And there's really nice palm trees all the way along as well. So let's go and see what we can find out. This is Ocean Green Beach Villas. And they also have a resort, which they rent out different apartments. So with these villas, you get free access to the swimming pool, there is a restaurant, a stage, the beach. So it's like a community, sort of gated community situation. Nah, that's pretty dope. I really love the way they had the pool set up and everything around the beach. Everything like that is dope, it's dope. This is one of their three bedroom Pelicon villas and we're gonna have a look around just now. So this is the main three bed single story open concept large okay living space here and then why don't we look at the garden first actually I never really do that and actually it's so nice to have some outdoor space at places so this is the garden space actually huge let me ask you guys something like uh, when i watch a lot of videos like these they always say like garden space do you guys actually like garden like grow like fruits and like vegetables and stuff right there because i know out here we don't do none of that stuff well the weather is changing but i guess over there it stays a, a consistent weather uh, temperature but do you guys actually grow like crops and gardens and stuff like that like in your backyard i don't know if it's true comment below really really nice so yeah, if you did want your own swimming pool, you could actually plumb it in there. And it goes all around. So here's a bit of an outdoor kitchen and then you can get back in through that way into the actual kitchen. So let's go back the way we came. As you can see, it's open plan kitchen. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks very spacious. It looks huge. Like, it looks like, hold up. Fast forward it a bit. Uh, like, it looks very spacious, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could definitely fit a, a good family of like five, you know what I'm saying? Family of six in there, which is dope, man. People be, you know, it's, it's, it, it, As you can it's crazy, cause like, people think that these type of, these type of rental properties or these type of homes or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? The commercial properties are not are not available or not like present in Africa, you know what I'm saying? People think they still live in huts and trees and stuff like that. That's crazy. They're more modernized than probably us, who knows, you know what I'm saying? 
you can see it's open plan, kitchen, dining, I guess you could have here, and then living space. And then there's a storeroom in there, which is locked, but I mean, you can imagine what's in there. And then there's another storeroom here. And then we get to one of the bedrooms. which is a good size and then there's open to the toilet, bath, sink area that's dope and an outside shower which is actually such a nice idea and I yeah that's a good idea i never seen some shit like that before you have an outdoor shower like at your crib that's dope, that's dope man I also like the greenery that they've put in, in here, like this is really cool. It provides some privacy although the wall's high enough. But it's nice that they've sort of the plants that are going in here as well. Right, let's go to the second bedroom. So this is the second bedroom. It's got a view of the garden and a view out into another little garden space obviously there's air con in every room the one thing i've seen like most of like time when like when they visit when like show like these different properties is like their bed frame is always like wooden it's never like like the different like plush or like a different like type of material they use it's always like a wooden like bed frame you guys like love that stuff or you just like decide to pick it or just well it comes with the house you guys just put the mattress in there you know well, comment below, let your boy know. And then this is the guest bathroom. And next to that is a shower room. Also, the reason why I'm looking into this stuff, because um, you never know, man. I, I definitely want to buy property somewhere in Ghana and stuff like that, you know. So when I visit, I can stay out there. I can rent it out when I leave stuff like that so it's a pretty dope idea to start already and look at these videos that she's doing you know which is for bedrooms two and three to share and this is the third bedroom again a good size you see over a little garden area out that way so it's really nice to see what you can get in pram pram I'm now going to meet Ben Gagba, who is the CEO of Ocean Green Beach Villas. He is a project director in ecological building and techniques and property development in the Netherlands, France and Ghana. For now, except that me, from Plan is actually the second half in Ghana. This is what I do almost all my life. So we did a thorough research. Why would we buy land in a, a what do you call it, Pram Pram, and then in the central region? And the coming 10 years, if you have anything at these locations, you are good to go. Because both demographic and economic overflow from Accra, uh, Tema, and surroundings, they are all moving towards Pram Pram. The airport, they say there will be another airport here in Pram Pram. Mm -hmm. Pram has a uh, central university, Domino University is coming, not for the Man, one thing I learned is like, if you trying to buy land or property or whatever, good thing to look at is like, like what's the surrounding area going to be after you buy it or in the future and you know what I'm saying, the value it is now, you know what I'm saying, so if it's going to have like, you know what I'm saying like more of like tourist area that's a perfect spot to buy a land you know what I'm saying so be like airports you know what I'm saying other businesses stuff like that. that's a perfect location stuff like that so he had a good idea when he's deciding to purchase you know what I'm saying the land and stuff like that possibility you know but then space is for us and the light very very important when we are doing our design so they are taken care of and one thing we also do but this one I did in Maldi before so we have all the houses come with a stereo bath I think we saw it also there. Yeah. yeah. Really like There's nothing nicer actually to me than to sit here even in the evening in the moonlight and then sit down here. Maybe just take a beer or something and relax. 
just be like hey yeah. you, you are <laughs> you are yeah you know so that is one of the things that we actually integrated people put fridge here and then they put two chairs here where you can sit down and then have your time and yeah it's really private it's private yeah, yeah nothing from anywhere and it's also nice when it's raining and then you can even stand here and then enjoy the natural rain on you. Yeah. It's very, very nice. It's very simple. But then they are so, uh, yeah, exclusive. Yeah. You know, so with this one bedroom for the master bedroom for the, let's oh. say, the owners of the house and the visitors or friends. I mean, we have a two bedrooms also upstairs. So also, you know, this is the kitchen. The kitchen is not fixed yet. But then, uh, you know, in Ghana, because we cook with some strong herbs, like this uh, banku tilapia and all those kind of something and it's an open kitchen so we create what we call the african kitchen mm. okay. so so with here you can actually make your fufu banku all outside i was talking about upstairs here we have uh, uh, two bedrooms i was talking about for the guests or for the kids or the visitors so that is uh, i mean again space it's for me very important when we are doing the designs yes the and, uh, yeah you know so it gives you space and and then ventilation and lighting. I like to very much. All the houses that we do, we do what we call cross ventilation. Cross ventilation means that even when the heat will come, because it's diagonal, the wind will blow like this and go and take it away. Oh. So all those who are taking so they're bath from there or whatever, they all take it into account when we are designing the houses. And you got a mirrored window to keep the heat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you okay, if you go you see the reflection. Yeah, I see, I see yeah. My so yeah you can see yourself there <laughs> so is that one of the things I see with it? yeah and all those coconut trees you are seeing in the trees the idea is they will grow later so they will shade the Sun because like from from coming because like I said Ghana is the middle of the world so it's always always throughout the year the Sun sets from the east to the west every day mm -hmm. so if you know this you can actually plant a coconut tree there not like Europe where Sometimes mm -hmm. in the summer you have a, or in the winter, the different angle of the sun. No, here is always the same. Mm -hmm. So with that, the coconut trees can grow, the trees can grow and shade some of the heat from coming in. And then you have a peace and it not use so much energy here. The house is, some people do not like bath. Some people like shower. So the houses also come with a, with a shower or with a bath. Okay. So here, I think one of the top here has a... So you have two kids and then they all want different things it's possible this one is we shower the bedrooms are the same and then uh, we have uh, this one is with a bath oh, yeah dope. so yes, if you two. are the type who do not like uh, uh shower now you have a choice here you're resting with somebody or both or whatever which we also uh, have and then of course uh, another bedroom here so two bedrooms upstairs one down if you're on retirement and then you want uh, to have your peace you go there and this area is a no nah, that's a big house um i'm probably going to fast forward it to see because it's a very long video so let me just see the outside yeah so it's a house for somebody with his own private swimming pool yeah. so somebody's already bought this one yeah now this house is completed about six weeks ago Almost every weekend hmm. is occupied. So somebody's uh, bought it and they're renting it out. Yeah. So the thing is, Ocean Green, we build and we sell and then we manage. That's uh, our concept. So if you if you don't want the management part, is that you, you're supposed to, yeah? People, I mean, like someone living in the US, he doesn't want to rent, okay. but we just maintain maintain for her. If she decides to come, just say, okay, I'm coming to Ghana, this and that and that day. How much is your management fee? 20%. Okay. Of the, of the, of the amount, you the profit, yeah. yeah. So if your house is going for 100, 100 US dollars, yeah, uh, we would yeah, need 20 years, uh, 20% of it, yeah. So, I mean, this one of the, the same thing we saw there, it's also not fully completed, but like I said, uh, we are renting already. You see, the kitchen is not even done yet. But then again, mm. I said the demand. So it is being rented out already. Yeah. Twenty-five thousand US dollars. Twenty-five thousand US dollars. And then with that, you have such a pool. This is actually four four point five uh, meters by eight point two or something. And then uh, now there are seats here where you can actually have a 
Yeah, it's pretty spacious. The garden, yeah. and then the whole area we are developing is going 23 acres we are working on. And then, like I said, this is the first stage we are doing. Second stage is almost being completed. And then we'll move to the third stage soon. Um, so is this one for sale? Yeah, this for sale. And um, will there be like a wall or something? Actually, the guy who bought here, his friend is trying to buy this. Oh, and then they would share? They would share, the, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And they want to do kind of timeshare thing also. Mm -hmm. So they want to keep one for themselves and they will be renting one. So when you buy a house, you can tailor make it the way you want. We have a very flexible system also. So the house is yours. How you want it is up to you. And how many mm. years is it a lease? We have uh, 99 years plus automatic 45 years. But then we are trying to, we give now 70 years out of the 99 to all our buyers. But then we create the option where you can extend again up to 50 years. And how much do you have to pay to extend? Uh, oh, uh, contractually, of course, I told them a lawyer. What we did was, uh, by the time of extension after 99 years, the increment, if they will increase, any increment at all, will not be about 5%. Oh, right, okay, so that's in a contract. It's in the contract. So we have land okay. title on our land. Anything, we just transfer a portion of that to you. That's why I say it's safe. When you buy land here, or buy a house, we send you all the documentation. You study, you can let the lawyer do it, or you can do it yourself. If you are satisfied, you come. You pay 40% of the total amount of the money. We can complete such a house, six bedrooms, within six months. And Damn. you buy this land on its yes. own and build your yeah, own house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only condition that you cannot build above two floors. And how much? Land. His land is 18,000 US dollars, but it's a service plot. For one plot? For one plot, 18,000 US dollars. But then it means we have your electricity, your... That's not bad. The land is 18. I'm not sure how much they invest in making the house. I guess it depends on what you want and stuff like that. So if the house is like, what, 100,000? You know what I'm saying? You put down the 20%, 20,000. It's light, it's light. The road, it's not the bad. water, they are all there. So you even we saw some last even last week to say even in the UK. Mm. Yeah. And how much is the other one that I saw? The two three beds. There's a three. The Pelican. How much is that? Pelican is one seventy eight. Oh. So is it like the same size? What yeah. square footage? I'm gonna stop it right there, but man, you could tell like the what you pay for is what you get, you know what I'm saying? Which is you get a lot more for what you pay for, you know, definitely over there than out here in the States, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you get a lot, you know, it's dope. You have a good enough space, a pool, a very spacious home, a few bedrooms, that's all you need, man. Nothing crazy, but, um, it's dope. And I'm going to keep on doing some more reaction like this to see different parts of the area and, um, where is a good place to purchase a home or build a home and, um, you know, have a spot so when I go out there I can just stay out there and you know enjoy enjoy life at the same time. If you're new to the channel, you're ready to do like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video, and um yeah man, you're on the road to 20k subs. If you're new, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's your boy Breeze, everything easier, sir, sir. Paving this shit crack.